We've got some really exciting news for everyone today, and that revolves around improving communications between you and your customers. We've had a lot of requests for live chat, so we've been taking a long, hard look at how that's being handled through some top-tier remote control products, as well as some of our very own competitors. We asked ourselves, is this style of one-to-one -one live chat good enough for Synchro? Was it good enough for our customers? The answer was a resounding no. So instead of simply replicating the poor mechanics of live chat that technicians have been suffering through for the past 20 years, we developed an entirely new modern chat system designed specifically for MSPs. So it is my sincere pleasure to introduce you to Synchro Chat. So the single biggest concept around Synchro Chat is that while you can chat live, we understand that this isn't always possible, but that should never stop a chat interaction from occurring. So the chat cards you see here to the left are a lot like text messages on your mobile phone. They represent a running list of all active chats currently occurring between your technicians and your customers. When new messages come into an existing chat interaction, or an entirely new chat interaction comes through in an unassigned state, you'll get an audible notification along with a badge denoting how many unread or unassigned chats you have. All technicians with rights to chat can go ahead and pick up an unassigned chat and assign it to themselves. We've also added user rights to allow a technician to assign a chat to someone else. For instance, if you triage the issue and decide it's outside of your skill set, you can easily escalate the ticket to someone better suited to work that specific issue. With the proper permissions, you can even assign a chat away from an existing technician over to yourself. This is great for technicians that have active chats, but may be out sick or on vacation, allowing you to take them over and continue providing your unparalleled level of service. There are, of course, different chat filters, so you can easily view all of your own chats, chats you own with unread messages, unassigned chats, and if you have the permissions to see it, all active chats in your Synchro instance. If you have a large number of chat cards present, you can also quickly search by technician, customer, contact, or asset name. Off to the right, you'll find some quick information about the customer, the contact, if there's one assigned to the asset, and the asset itself. Each has quick links to their own respective records. We've added a shortcut here that allows you to quickly create a ticket for the customer you're currently chatting with, automatically assigning the asset to the ticket along with the contact where applicable. When you're done with the chat, we've added this End Chat button here. Clicking that brings up a window allowing you to assign a friendly name to the chat, which then gets archived to the customer record. You'll find a new tab on customer records called Chat History. This details a full accounting of every single chat that anyone in your company has ever had with this customer. You can easily see who each chat was between and on what asset the chat occurred. Best of all, drilling into any given archived chat will open up the full chat history for you to review. This is extremely handy from a sales and support perspective, where you can easily see if recurring issues are presenting that might be resolved through additional services or trainings for this customer. We took great care to ensure that permissions and privacy were on full display here, so we've added a full suite of permissions to Synchro Chat. You can completely disable chat for particular technicians if you wanted to, as well as segmenting the ability to pick up unassigned chats, reassign chats, and to see all active chats. You can even set technician permissions so that they can see all of a customer's chat history, just the history for chats they themselves were assigned to, or no chat history at all. Lastly, we have this permission here for creating a new chat. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Clicking the plus icon here allows you to initiate a new chat with any specific asset. You can enter the asset name directly, or enter a customer on the left, and all of their applicable assets will filter here in the right for you to choose from. Now we've seen a lot of poor chat implementations out there that force the customer to respond to an incoming chat request, or that chat can't occur. This obviously doesn't work in real-world scenarios, or no one would ever get anything done. So you can send messages to your customers with the understanding that they most likely won't be able to respond until later. So when you start a new chat with a customer, a chat card will appear in the bottom right of their screens alerting them about the unread chat. Clicking the chat card opens up the chat window so they can respond. If the customer wants to initiate a chat with you, they can simply bring up the menu from your tray icon and choose chat or whatever name you've decided to assign to it. It's fully customizable.
Now it's also important to set the right expectations for your customer. It's unrealistic to think that you have technicians standing by doing nothing but answering live chats all day in real time. So after three minutes without receiving a response from a technician, your customer will receive a message you customize per policy, setting the proper expectations for a response to their chat. In this instance, we are simply telling the customer we typically respond in four hours or less. However, because this is a per policy setting, you could easily set these messages to match your customer-specific SLAs. Or, for your hourly clients you may not interact with regularly, you can let them know that you typically respond within a few hours during your normal business hours and denote what those are for the customer. So that's Synchro Chat, a modern, powerful take on chat that you simply will not find in any other MSP platform. And rest assured, what I've just shown you here isn't the end of what we have in store for Synchro Chat. In fact, it's just the beginning. SynchroChat has now entered public beta and is available on all Synchro accounts starting today.